failure is inevitable they say failure is an opportunity to begin again more intelligently said henry ford we are always excited to make goals and plans but even when we are creating them at the back of our mind we know that there are some goals which will not meet success there will be some goals in which we will fail all of us failed at some point or the other so you know it's a reality of life isn't it in fact most of us know that failures actually make us grow yet when failure happens we are disturbed we begin doubting ourselves our intentions and even the core of our dreams and at this very juncture that is between hope and self doubt the real test begins at this juncture you have a choice to continue to feeling uh, continue to feel sorry for yourself and kill all your hopes or let go of the feeling of failure and move forward one path will take you down the other path will rise you up only way forward to realizing all your dreams and achieving your goals is to let go and rise up so the real strength here is how do you manage yourself at this juncture how can you overcome all your emotions and stop feeling like a failure let's find out Hi there. I'm Aparna, your personal coach, helping you upskill yourself to lead the life you desire. I've had many, many failures in my life, and I know it feels horrible. But I value my dreams and goals really high. So I came up with these few strategies that can help manage myself when I feel like a failure. So the question I have is, when we are aware that failures are inevitable, why is it so difficult to let go, forgive yourself, and move forward? and how can we keep fear of failure from derailing us here are my five strategies the first strategy is for you to acknowledge the failure we all tend to attach shame and embarrassment to failure and hence we dread it so much acknowledging it first of all will help you overcome the stigma around it acknowledging it can also make it easier for you to accept the mistakes and errors in your action so to acknowledge you can start by writing down the following sentence i have failed in and fill in the blank the second strategy is for you to understand the failure investing your energy in understanding why the failure has occurred in the first place will help you take the necessary corrective actions so look at the failures analytically hold your emotions of anger frustration blame and regret and look at the failure curious curiously was a failure in your control and how can you ensure that the mistakes are not repeated you can continue the sentence now i have failed in because of Thomas Edison reportedly failed 10,000 times before inventing a light bulb. He is quoted saying, "I have found 10,000 ways of something that won't work. I'm not discouraged because every wrong attempt discarded is another step forward." So the third strategy is for you to prepare for the failure. Now that you have experience of failing, what can you do to avoid it next time? What is that one thing that you would do differently the next time? Taking time to prepare for failure can help you look at your mistakes pragmatically. So you can continue the sentence: "I have failed in because of, and I will do to avoid this in future." So the fourth strategy is for you to detach emotions. Our upbringing has given us an unhealthy attitude towards failure. So shifting your perspective and associating positive emotions will help you overcome the fa- feeling faster. So the trick to detach emotions is for you to forgive yourself. When you say statements such as it's okay or this too shall pass, you are forgiving yourself. This will also ensure that you don't give up and start working back towards achieving your dreams. The fifth strategy is for you to learn from your failures. Instead of treating failure as a final result, look at what you have learned from it. What has your failure taught you? These lessons could be lessons related to the failure, to your action plan, or maybe even help you discover your own self. So you can complete the sentence: I have failed in because of, and I will do to avoid it in future. This failure has taught me. So there you go. Those are the five strategies I use to overcome the feeling of failure. First, you acknowledge the failure. when you understand how the failure has happened third you prepare so that it doesn't happen again in future fourth is for you to detach your emotions to all the failures and finally learning important lessons from the failure what is this failure teaching me there's hardly any success story without a great failure story every single achiever confirms this
Ask any successful person and they will tell you that failure was a critical enabler of their success. It was their real motivator, their real teacher. The difference between them and an average person is that they did not give up. I hope you find these strategies and the information that I gave to you today resourceful. I'd love to know your thoughts. Do leave them in the comment section below or share it with me in any of the social media platforms that I'm on. I'd like to conclude this with a beautiful quote by Winston Churchill. This is one of my favorite. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. I hope you have a wonderful time. I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye. If you find this video resourceful, do hit a like button, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe and also hit the bell button so you'll never miss an update from me.